In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Pably Connect to automate your tasks within your business or general online activity. I'll also be showing you how you can bypass the monthly fees and grab the lifetime deal so you can get lifetime access to the software without monthly payments. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump straight into the video. And if you could leave a like letting me know you'd like to see more content like this, that would really help me out. To start things off, if you head over to the description of this video, there will be a special link that will get you access to the lifetime deal, as well as a further discount on the lifetime deal. My personal recommendation is to go for the 699 plan, which is the ultimate one, and that will get you 10,000 tasks every month, unlimited operations and workflows and multi-step. And the great thing about this is that you pay once and you never need to pay again. So you don't need to worry about ongoing monthly software fees. Once you've purchased Pable, you'll then be taken to your dashboard. Now, you're going to see a few extra things on my dashboard, but for you, it will be blank. We're gonna go over everything in just a moment. On the left, we have our navigation, and this will walk us through our workflows, which is where our triggers and actions are listed, and a trigger and action, the things that are actually automating our digital activities. Then you have the task history tab, and that will show you which workflows are running or have run in the background, so you can check the activity of each one and see what's going on. You then have your settings, which will show you all the information you need about tasks, and you also have the connections area, which will show you which apps are connected to your account, variables, where you can actually create custom variables and store or specific data to use across the board. This is more for advanced users and we won't be covering it in this section, where you can manage your team members, where you can actually create your own API keys and set up your own custom apps, and where you can also manage your time zone. We'll head over to the dashboard and in front of us on the left, we have all of our folders. So we can actually create our own folders to store specific automations, which is really handy because the more of an automator you become, the more messy things can get. So making sure we can organize them is really important. And then next to it under home, this is just a snapshot of all of the automations inside each one of the folders. And then you can filter them as you go and add specific style filters. Now to create a folder, we just click the plus and then we can name it demo. You can also create subfolders inside each folder and then do create. Once you've created the folder, it will take you to that area and this is where we can create a workflow. So let's go ahead and build a quick, simple workflow that will create motivational posts for us every day and then post them to our social media. So we'll create a workflow name and then we'll do create. Now that we've created it, you'll notice that this one says trigger and this one says action. The trigger is the thing that actually activates the workflow. So you only get one initial trigger per workflow unless you're getting a little bit more fancy, which we're going to skip over for simplicity of this video. An action is the next step of the workflow. So it will always start with a trigger activating the workflow and then it will be an action followed by an action followed by an action and it will keep running those actions until it gets to the last action. Then in the search bar, we can search for apps. Now, all of these apps, some of them you may recognize are different softwares that you can find online. Basically, it's got a direct connection to all of these different softwares so we can harness the power and connect each of these softwares together to create some really powerful stuff. The first thing that we want to do for the specific post that we're creating is we want to create a trigger that's going to activate every single day. So we're going to click the schedule app and then under it, it's asking us how often we want to run our workflows. So we're going to say every day at a time of let's just say 10, 20 a.m. We'll then save this and we just created our first workflow. Now, every single day, this is going to run at 10, 20 a.m. The next thing to do is set up the action. So for this, we want to use AI like ChatGPT to create the motivational quote. We will then add our ChatGPT account by connecting the API key from the different apps. Some will require an API key, 
others will require you to log in directly. For ChatGPT, you need an API key, which can be found in your open.ai.com account. But once you have connected it, you don't need to keep on reconnecting. You will select the connection and do save. You will then select the model. I'm just going to keep it at GPT-4. And for the prompt, we want to enter in a prompt. So the prompt that I'm going to put in is, create a motivational quote in the style of Scooby-Doo, the cartoon about the importance of drinking coffee. Let's see what it comes up with. So we'll do save and test request. And now it's generated the quote and it says, like Scooby-Doo, where are you? Grab a cup, brew a blend with a bit of coffee. The energy never ends, man. So we'll just go ahead and, and continue with that. You can, of course, fine tune your prompts, but for the sake of this video, you get it. We'll then go ahead and click the plus icon. And the next step I want to do is I actually want to reformat this here. And the reason I want to reformat it is because it's wrapped in these quotation marks. So I want to remove the quota quotation marks from this. Now I could just simply say to ChatGPT, do not include the quotation marks. But for the sake of this video, I want to show you some extra functionality. So in the search bar, you can type format and then click the text formatter. The text formatter will format the text the way we want it to do. So we'll click on text, connect, and in the string area, we're going to click the search box and under step two, we now want to get that message that the AI generated for us and then enter it in here. And now that is what we call dynamic functionality. So every single time this runs, a new quote will automatically be populated here. If you haven't guessed already, this is how we make everything super dynamic, just by selecting all of these dynamic fields that we want to integrate into our automation. We can do numerous things like make it all lowercase, trim things, extract numbers, length of string, etc. But for this one, we've actually used the wrong option. So I'm going to go back up, change it from text. I'm going to do replace text. In the text field, we'll add that option again. And now we are looking for the quotation mark. So if it finds a quotation mark, it's going to find it. And then here we can replace it with anything we want, but we'll leave it blank because we just want it to be removed. So we'll do save and send test. And now those quotation marks are gone. The next thing we're going to do is we want to schedule this to our Facebook page. So if we click the add action step, we can type in Facebook. You can decide where you want to send this. I'm going to do a Facebook page and it will list all of these different options from creating multi-image posts to photo posts or just a simple page post. We'll keep it simple and do create page post. Once again, you would connect your Facebook account and then select the connection here. Connect the one of our Facebook pages. For me, it's called Mindset Profits. And here's the page. And then for the message, we'll click on the input field, go to step three and select the result option because this is the newly formatted quote that's removed the quotation marks. And then we can add a link URL if we want to but I'm gonna leave that blank. Let's go ahead and do save and test request. Head over to our Facebook page, refresh the page, and there's the post. Now, there's a ton of things you can do with this sort of software. And I teach a lot more stuff about Pably inside brainyautomations.com, where you can get access to 100 plus hours of no-code tutorials. What should I automate next?